Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Conversational English. Today is our last lesson of Unit 6, which is the last unit. So this is the last lesson in Book 1. Not surprisingly, we are still in the Hudson's apartment. They have moved things around. They have moved in. They're settling in. They've unpacked. They've had a really busy few days. Ed. Betty and their daughter Becky. Today, the family at the end of a very busy day and a busy week get together to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. 好，那么各位同学，我们今天到了 Book One 的最后一课，第十八课了。那么在这 Book One 里面呢，我们跟着 Hudson 一家人呢，经历了他们呢这个搬新家，然后呢把东西打包，然后又打开，然后开始整理，而且呢每个房间怎么整理，然后又一起一家人做饭，一起吃饭等等的，也经历到现在他们也要告一个段落了。那今天的课程里面呢，他们是在忙了这么辛苦，终于把事情做完之后，接下来一家人坐下来睡前要来一段这个内心的这个聊。聊天哦，这个 heart to heart 就是这个打开内心聊聊一些这个提及话。那所以我们现在赶快跟着 Bruce 老师来看今天我们这一课。Okay, let's take a look for the first time at today's dialogue. Did you finish setting out the clothes for tomorrow? Yes, for both you and me. But you do get to choose your own tie. <laughs> Thanks. That will save me some time in the morning. And I want to sleep as much as possible tonight before going back to work. It has been a long few days. I'm ready to go back to classes. Weren't you going to tell us something, Becky? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Now that you're both here, uh, you know you can discuss anything with us, right, Becky? Take it easy, you two. It's not like I'm pregnant or I'm going to run off and elope or anything like that. Uh, uh, we, uh, we knew that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. Anyways, I just want you to know that I'm changing my major. To what? Uh, Dad, I think we have a trust issue here. Ha, I think what your father means is that we support your decisions, but we would like to offer some suggestions if we feel they are appropriate. That's fair. Well, I'm changing my major from sociology to international business. That's quite a stretch. Um, why do you want to change your major, Becky? Well, I think it's interesting how you and Dad conduct your interior design business. You often have to deal with foreign suppliers, and I've become interested in and curious about the whole process. Actually, I think it's really fascinating how the world works. Hmm. I can support that. When your mom and I retire, we can hand down the business to you. Hey, another family tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's really getting late, and I'm ready to hit the sack. Me too. Good night, Mom. Mm. Dad. Good night, sweetie. See you tomorrow. Okay, now that we've had a chance to look over the dialogue by listening to it, it's time for a break. Um, we'll take a break and come back. After the break, it's time for part three, words and phrases. 
。现在就让我们进入第三单元的智慧与片语。Tie, tie, 领带 Every young man should learn how to tie a tie in order to wear formal clothing. 每个年轻人都该学会打领带，以便穿正式的服装。This might sound a little funny, tie a tie, but the verb and the noun are exactly the same. The same spelling, the same word. The same pronunciation. 是的，所以各位同学呢，听到这个 tie a tie 呢，其实你应该要觉得很高兴，因为呢，打领带或者是领带这两个动词还有名词呢，它刚好拼法也一样，发音也一样，所以其实你很好背啊、哦。那么 tie a tie 第一个是动词 ，a tie 后面这个呢是名词，就是领带。All right. Fine with me. <笑> Continuing, anxious. Anxious. 焦虑 Before announcing the winner of the public speaking contest, all the students felt anxious. 所有的学生在演讲比赛的获胜者公布之前呢，都感到非常的焦虑 Some of my students ask me, "Is there any difference between anxious and nervous?" Well, to me, anxious is very nervous. 没错 ，OK。所以呢，刚刚 Bruce 早已经讲出一个很简单的区别方法，紧张叫做 nervous， 非常非常的紧张就叫做 anxious。OK。Let's continue. Sure. Lean, lean. 前倾。When in an MRT car, please do not lean against the doors. 在坐捷运的时候呢，请不要把身体靠在捷运的车门上。Pregnant, pregnant. 怀孕 When a woman is pregnant, she naturally gains weight and experiences frequent mood changes. 怀孕的女人呢，会增加体重，而且情绪频繁变化等都是很自然的 Elope, elope. 私奔 Since neither of their parents approved of their getting married, John and Ellen decided to elope and get married anyway. 因为双方父母都不同意他们结婚，所以约翰和艾伦就决定私奔结婚。Noticeably. Noticeably. 明显的。Today is noticeably cooler than yesterday. You'd better take a jacket with you to work today. 今天明显的比昨天凉爽，所以你出门工作最好带件夹克哦。Relieved, relieved. 松一口气，放心。When the big writing project was finished, Anne and Bruce felt relieved. 当写作计划结束之后，安和布鲁斯都松了一口气。Major, major. 主修 College freshmen are supposed to declare a major, but many of them change their major during the next two years. 通常大学的新生都要选一门主修，但大多数的人在两年内都会换主修 Alarm, alarm. 紧张 Grace felt alarm when she saw smoke coming out of the windows of her apartment. She should. I would. Grace 看到黑烟从她的公寓窗户冒出，感到很紧张。What、uh, Lori was just saying is she should. She should feel alarm, and that made me think. Now we have three words that could be 紧张 Very good. Let's do a comparison. Nervous is、uh, somewhat. Uh, the other one was anxious. Anxious, which is very alarm. 
serious. <笑> OK， 所以呢，这边 Bruce 老师呢，很这个贴心的注意到说，刚好把我们本课呢学到的三个紧张程度从低。到高来排，最低的就是 nervous、嗯、哦，这是一般性的紧张。当你呢变得很很紧张的时候，请用 anxious。可是当你已经到了那种整个身体里面在响警铃了，有没有 alarm？ 那个时候你就是已经大概快要崩溃了。所以这样同学很好记这三个不同的紧张。OK， thank you、yeah,。I think that's a good way to teach those three Very words. Very good. Yeah. All right, let's go on.、Mm -hmm. Trust. Trust. 信任。When two people believe in each other and feel comfortable together, we can say their relationship is built on trust. 当两个人彼此相信，而且相处得很自在，我们会说他们的关系呢建立在信任上。Issue. Issue. 问题。Belinda had a difficult childhood. Full of family issues that were hard for her to handle. Belinda had a very difficult childhood, so there were many issues she had to deal with in her family. Appropriate, appropriate, suitable. Wearing a suit and tie to the beach in summer is not appropriate beach wear. 在夏天呢，穿西装打领带并不是合适的沙滩服装。Here I'd like to remind our students we've talked about this before. Appropriate, a t e at the end, is pronounced it, not ate. Adjectives and nouns with a t e, the a t e is pronounced it. If it's a verb, and this word can be a verb, then it is. Appropriate, appropriate. We don't use that word very much. It's a legal term. If the government、uh, takes your property for some reason, you didn't pay your taxes, they can appropriate your property. And for you, that's not very appropriate. Okay. 所以这里呢 ，Bruce 老师提醒同学们，就是这个呃，我们这个适合的、合适的这个字的 A T E 结尾的发音要小心哦。那么正确的发音，我们请老师再念一遍。Appropriate。好，那么呢，这是他当形容词的时候。那刚刚也有补充到，他很少很少在当动词的时候会被用到，但一样有那个状况，就是比如说你没有缴税，或者是你有一些什么财务的状况，你的财产被充公，那个字的时候，动词它应该要发的音就是。Appropriate. All right. So, this, 各位同学要小心记下来喽 Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Continuing. Yep. Sociology. Sociology. 社会学 The study of the organization and influence of society is known as sociology. 社会学呢？是这个学习组织还有社会影响的一门学科。International business. International business. 国际贸易。Many students today declare their major to be international business because they like the idea of earning money and traveling the world. 现在很多学生都选国际贸易当主修，因为他们期待能赚钱，又能环游世界。那这边的话，提醒同学一下，就是这里的国际贸易有一个印刷的小错误，那记得把这个企业划掉，要写上贸易，这是正确的。That's right, and no one's perfect. <笑> Next word is stretch. Stretch. 意料之外。On Glenn's low salary, it was a stretch for him to want to buy a BMW. Glenn's 薪水不高，还买了一辆 BMW， 真的是出人意料之外。Conduct, conduct. 进行。Mrs. Withers conducted four interviews this morning to find the best person to fill the management position. 
，威瑟太太早上就进行了四场面试，为了要找到一个最适合管理职位的人选。Be careful of this word's pronunciation because, as you would say in Chinese, it's a poin zi. The verb is conduct, but the noun is conduct. 好，所以这里的破音呢，它其实是重音音节的变换。好，那所以记得呢，动词的时候呢，重音放在第二音节啊、哦。那么变成名词的时候呢，把重音移到 c， 也就是第一音节上面就对了。That's right. Okay. Next word, deal with. Deal with. 交涉 Small children are often difficult to deal with because they do not yet understand concepts like right and wrong. 我们通常呢很难跟小孩子交涉，因为他们还没有对与错的观念 Supplier. Supplier. We're running low on copy paper, so we need to contact our supplier and order ten more boxes. Our ink is almost done, so we need to contact our supplier and order ten more boxes. Curious. 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 I haven't heard from George in quite a while, so I'm curious about how his job interview went. 我有一阵子没有乔治的消息了，所以我很好奇他工作面试的如何了。Process. Process. 过程。The process to register for admission to this college is quite difficult. Even if you do it online, 这所学校的申请过程很困难，即使你是在线上申请也是一样。Fascinating, fascinating, 迷人的。The circus was so fascinating to the child that she hardly said a word until it was over. 这次的马戏团是十分的迷人，以至于结束之后，这个小孩还是说不出半句话。Retire, retire. 退休。After Mr. Tun retired from his full-time policeman's position, he found a part-time job as a security guard. 自从陈先生从全职的警察退休之后，他就找到一个兼职的保全工作。Hand down, hand down. 传。Many parents hope to hand down their family business to their children. 很多父母呢都希望能把家族的企业传给自己的小孩。I'd like to add a word here based on hand down. It's not in the book, but you might find this interesting. If you have older brothers or sisters, maybe your parents gave your, if you're a boy, they gave your older brother's clothes to you to wear, or an older sister's clothes to the younger sister to wear, a jacket, anything. Those are called hand-me-downs. Hand, duan shen. Me, duan shen. Down, yi jian. Jia es shi fu su de yong fa. So when I grew up, I had to wear hand-me-downs. Okay, so obviously, Bruce 老师不是老大，因为呢，他刚刚补充的这个 hand me downs， 它整个是一个字哦，所以中间同学会有两条的这个 hyphen 短线，那意思就是说那种老大穿完给老二，老二穿完给老三的这种叫做 hand me downs。OK， 那么所以呢，这个呃 Bruce 老师刚刚说他成长的过程，他穿的都是这个 hand me down 牌的 ，right？ 所以你是老几？哇哦，他是老四呢，看不出来。Okay, continue. Thank you. Next word. Hit the sack. Hit the sack. 睡觉 Tom was so tired when he got home from his construction job that he hit the sack without eating his dinner. 
汤姆从工地回到家就十分的疲倦，所以没吃晚餐就上床睡觉了。Ooh, long list of words, so it's time to take a break. Yeah, 我们休息一下，马上回来。Part four, as always, is our extra serving. We're going to give you more supplementary material, either in the well, actually in both the radio and the workbook. But the extra serving is our chance to kind of push or guangao, uh, uh, give you give you a, a commercial, so that hopefully you will take advantage of both your radio and workbook lessons. This week, we're going to help students. By telling you the names of certain majors that are very, very popular, I can't believe how many of my students cannot say the major in English mm -hmm. that they are studying. And if they were to meet other foreign students, uh, I think that would be embarrassing. So if you will check your workbook lesson this week, you'll find some useful information for you. Mm. 那么在这个礼拜的这个呃作业部，还有我们的广播里面呢 ，Bruce 老师呢有提到说，他的很多学生哦，在大学其实连用英文来讲自己主修是什么科系呢，都讲不出来。所以其实如果你在跟外国朋友聊天，然后人家问你大学是修什么主科系啊，其实这样子是蛮 embarrassing 这个字就是还蛮糗的哦，这其实不太这个好意思。所以呢，这一次的这个礼拜的呃 ，Bruce 老师呢会教大家一些蛮实用的科系名称，用英文怎么说，所以同学也记得不要。Okay, now let's go ahead to our part five quiz. That's right, it's quiz time, and this week is close reading. We have a long paragraph with five blanks. And at the bottom of the paragraph, we have a list of words from you to choose from. Of course, choose the appropriate word for each blank. Now let's go back to the beginning of the paragraph. Moving into a new house or apartment is never easy. 要搬进一个新家或公寓呢，都是非常辛苦的。There are so many blank to deal with. That it seems you can never think of everything to do. 总是有那么多的空格要来处理，以至于呢，你总是想不完该做的事。If we look at the list below, we know that we have to choose a noun and a plural noun because many is always followed by a plural noun. We have bookcases and details; those are both plural nouns. But the only one that makes sense is details. 好，所以正确的答案就是 details. Next one, please. It is also so much work that it's easy to feel blank. 而且呢，要做的事情是那么的多，以至于呢，很容易就会觉得空格。Notice the word feel here. We're looking for a feeling, and the only one is exhausted. And that is correct in grammar because it's ed. I feel tired. I feel bored. I feel exhausted. 嗯，所以正确答案就是觉得精疲力尽。Planning what to do day by day is very important when it comes to moving. 那么，其实，在讲到搬家的规划上呢，要一天一天的做规划是非常重要的。It is better to work on one blank at a time than try to do everything at once. 比较好的方法呢，是一次做空格，而且不要试着呢，再把所有的事情马上的去完成。Here we need a singular noun. We have one, not many. We have one, and the only two words we can choose are room or bedroom. But the one that makes better sense would be room, because it doesn't have to be the bedroom. 
it is better to work on one room at a time. 嗯，所以正确答案就是一次呢做一个房间。Next sentence. For example, prepare your blank first because you will want to sleep comfortably, even when the other rooms are not yet finished. Aha! Here we want to use bedroom because it's talking about sleep. So your best choice: prepare your bedroom first. 嗯，所以答案就会变成说，举例来讲，最好呢是首先整理好你的卧室 （bedroom）， 这样子的话呢，你就可以好好的睡，尽管其他的房间可能都还没整理好。Continuing, you might want to prepare the bathroom next. 你可能呢要这个准备好下一个整理的房间，应该是浴室。Then comes the kitchen. Unless you plan to eat all your meals outside in a restaurant. Or eat blank food until you're all moved in. 嗯，那么呢，接下来呢，你应该要整理的是厨房，除非你有打算呢，完全都在外面吃，在餐厅吃，或者是这个吃空格的食物，直到你完全安顿好。Now here we have blank food, so we need an adjective. Settled food? What's that? Ah, takeout food. Takeout is an adjective phrase, and of course, if you don't eat at home, at home, you can eat in a restaurant or eat takeout food. 嗯，所以这一题的答案就是这个外带的食物 takeout food. Save the big living room until last. 把这个最大的客厅留到最后 Remember that eventually you will finish this difficult job, and then you can enjoy your home sweet home. 请记住，最后你总是会完成这个艰难的工作的，然后你就可以享受你的家，你甜蜜的家了。That concludes part five. Now let's take a second look at our dialogue for today. Did you finish setting out the clothes for tomorrow? Yes, for both you and me. But you do get to choose your own tie. <laughs> Thanks. That will save me some time in the morning, and I want to sleep as much as possible tonight before going back to work. It has been a long few days. I'm ready to go back to classes. Weren't you going to tell us something, Becky? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Now that you're both here. Uh, you know you can discuss anything with us, right, Becky? Take it easy, you two. It's not like I'm pregnant or I'm gonna run off and elope or anything like that. Uh, uh we uh, we knew that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. Anyways, I just want you to know that I'm changing my major. To what? Uh, Dad, I think we have a trust issue here. Ha! Huh, I think what your father means is that we support your decisions, but we would like to offer some suggestions if we feel they are appropriate. That's fair. Well, I'm changing my major from sociology to international business. That's quite a stretch. Um, why do you want to change your major, Becky? Well, I think it's interesting how you and Dad conduct your interior design business. You often have to deal with foreign suppliers, and I've become interested in and curious about the whole process. Actually, I think it's really fascinating how the world works. Hmm. I can support that. When your mom and I retire, we can hand down the business to you. Hey, another family tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's really getting late, and I'm ready to hit the sack. Me too. Good night, mom. Hmm. Dad. Good night, sweetie. See you tomorrow. That's the end of today's lesson, and that's the last lesson in the book. Oh. Oh, that's book one. We still have book two. <laughs> that's right. So join us after the vacation, and we'll be back with you. Till then, bye bye. bye, -bye.